Hi, this is Jonathan from TechSoft 3D. Here showing you Hoops Communicator 2016, something we're very excited about and want to highlight some of the large model visualization capabilities of Hoops Communicator. So we're going to show you a quick demo here. First off, I've loaded a uh, 8 megabyte CATIA file. This assembly is about uh, 17 different files and right now we're, we're visualizing it uh, in its entirety. It's about 250,000 triangles. Those are streamed down to the, the desktop here. I'm running on a, a MacBook Pro and uh, in our client-side rendering WebGL viewer. So you're seeing all those triangles um, downloaded here all at once. But let's, let's add something to this. Let's now load in a slightly larger model. This is a 52 megabyte Pro-E model. It's made up of 143 different files and this model itself is two and three quarter million triangles. So all in all, we see both the, the micro engine and our, our motorbike. Three million triangles are able to be streamed down and visualized here within WebGL. Let's take it a step further and this time we're going to load a 240 megabyte inventor assembly. Almost a thousand files uh, compose this assembly. Now those are converted prior to streaming them down to the client. But all in all we have an additional four million triangles that we've loaded. Our new tally here visualizing within this WebGL session is, is seven million triangles. Now let's load in a race car. This is a, a 600 megabyte Pro E assembly. Again, another thousand files. So, so over 2,000 individual files are being represented here. That model streams in 27 million triangles, making that model up. So, all in all, now we're we'll able to visualize 34 million triangles in the same WebGL session. We can take that a step farther though and load in independently an additional 25 copies of that file. So these aren't, aren't instanced, but they're being streamed in piece by piece, triangle by triangle. So now we're over 700 million triangles here in this one WebGL session. And my graphics card is, is working pretty hard now, the mobile graphics card, to be able to visualize all that, but we are able to download and, and visualize that data. Here I'm going to switch and load all that data again on the server in our server-side rendering mode. So instead of streaming the data down to the client, instead this data resides on the server. There's a GPU, a graphics card on the server, and we load all that locally on the server and just stream down uh, images that we're able to capture from the graphics card. All that data was originally that was originally lo loaded is also loaded again, but we've doubled it now. So here we've loaded in a Boeing 777. And that's an additional 340 million triangles. So total, we're now visualizing over a billion triangles here in this one server-side rendering session. And just to show you that we are able to load that entire model in, we have a number of different camera views that we're able to zoom to within that Boeing 777. So we have the cabin, we have the cockpit, and all those individual parts are, are loaded in and can be interacted with. So if I really wanted to, I could come here, I could click on a particular part in that Boeing 777 and it gives me the metadata that's associated with that where I could get that unique ID and tie it back to the uh, uh, original CAD file if I wanted to or, or be able to, to create a a workflow that goes off to another database and collects that data. So that's a, a brief overview of some of the large model visualization capabilities of Hoops Communicator 2016. We really encourage you to go to www.techsoft3d.com to learn more about Hoops Communicator and also sign up for a free 60-day evaluation where you can take this technology for a test drive with your own data.